So how fast can you build a PC? That's the question I'm going to be asking myself today. So I'm going to be timing myself to assemble all the components I've got in front of me, get them into the case, manage all the cables, power the PC on and get it to post on the monitor behind me. So I am going to be giving myself an easy time as possible and I'm going to be doing this by using Cooler Master's new TD500 Max. This comes with the I.O. installed, the power supply installed and a lot of the cables pre-routed and managed. So this should give me the best chance as possible to get as fast a time. So I can promise you great camera angles, but I will do my best to get this PC built as quickly as possible. So we'll go ahead and load up the stopwatch and let's go. Okay, so we'll open our CPU socket cover, grab our CPU, and I'm using a 7800X3D, drop it down into the socket, close the socket cover, and remove the black bit of plastic. Now we are going to have to install a separate bracket for this AIO, so we'll remove the stock clips. Well, what I think I'll do, we'll just set these bits, we're not going to need any more on this desk. Alright, brackets. So we've got one of these to screw onto each corner. Okay, now we're onto the M.2 SSD, so we can go ahead and remove the heatsink. Okay, M.2 SSD into the slot, secure it with a clip, and then let's get the heatsink back on again. This is always the tricky bit of getting these things to line up. Okay, and then we've got our RAM, so two sticks of RAM. Okay, motherboard ready to go two minutes in. So we'll bring our case round. And we can remove our tempered glass panel. Let's see, I'll just recenter that camera on the case. There we go, and we'll focus in on it. So, although our AIO is ready to go, one thing I am going to have to do is install the brackets onto the AIO. So, really tempted after doing the build just to leave these in place. But we are doing it like the case comes out of the box. Okay, so that's the bracket on. The next thing we're going to do is get our screws for screwing the motherboard. So we're going to need to pull nine of these out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we'll put the little cover back into place. Okay, that looks good. So we can set the motherboard into the case. You can see a lot of our cables are pre-routed and it's just getting past these and then we'll get the motherboard screwed in. So we're about just coming up on five minutes. Slower than I thought it was going to be at this. Okay, so case cables to get plugged in. So we've got our HD audio cable. We've got an ARGB cable. It's going to go around to where I can see. Okay, I'm just pushing the cables in. We're not cheating on cable management. And then we've got front panel connectors. And why Color Master did you not include them in a single cable? Okay, let's see. Okay, that's them all plugged in. USB 3.0. And we might actually get away with doing this without actually unplugging, without removing the black, the back panel. There we go. We've got our CPU fan. And then we're gonna to wanna to plug our power cables in. So the power cables, we've got this little adapter here, so we can plug in our 24 pin cable. That's it all the way in. And then we've got our EPS cables to plug in, so find the end of the CPU.
and then we've got our power connectors up the top of the motherboard to plug into. Yep, and that's clipped in. Okay. So we're we'll going timing wise. We're about eight minutes in. And we'll add a little bit of thermal paste to the CPU. Uh, this tub is empty. Should have checked that before I started, but it'll be enough to go with. We can get our cutter up. And we just need to get a thumb screw onto each corner. And then we'll tighten these all up. Okay. CPU pump header, ARGB cable, and then we'll route these cables up to the top and pass them through to the back. Okay. Then we need to get our PCIe slot covers removed. So we're not going to beat the 10 minutes, we're just coming up in 10 minutes. Okay, so we'll just root our cables out of the way. I did struggle to get the big screwdriver in here earlier, so I'm just going to go with a standard screwdriver. And I've lost a screw in the back, so I'll look for it later. Let's grab another one from here. Okay, 12 volt high power cable. Let's put our front panel back on again. Move that to the side slightly. Power switch. HDMI. And let's see. Oh, turn the power supply on. And there we go. So we're 11 minutes 40. So you can try and fix the camera while we're doing that. Focus in here. And let's go around and see if we get a post. Tired after that? We'll just have a wee look at that. We'll check we're on the right input. We are. Ah, there we go. So we can stop that. So 12 and a half minutes to build a PC. So I did think I was going to beat the 10 minutes, a bit slower than what I thought, but again, it wasn't me trying to do everything as quick as I could. I didn't have everything out and prepared. I wanted to do it with the case as it came out of the box, but I'm still pretty happy enough with about 12 and a half minutes. I have done a full step-by-step -step guide to building this case at a much slower pace, so I'll put a link to that video in the description. And if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.